Hello, this is Peter Gregory. I'm making this video to show how to format text when you have a little extra text inside a cell and it starts overlapping into other columns. And what I'm going to do is just go into a fresh new uh, sheet here. I might name it. It says a good habit. I'm going to double click on the word sheet one down at the bottom, as you can see, and I'm going to name it example. And I'm going to select in the spreadsheet itself, let's select V3. I'm just arbitrarily just picking a random cell here to start in the upper left hand corner area. Usually I give myself room above where I'm working and to the side over to the left so that uh, I can put headings up there or maybe indices on the sides and index the types of information that I'm creating in the table. Uh, but just as we start and we do our headings here, uh, we might put a very long heading in here. This is a very long heading. And we can see how Excel treats it. It just overlaps into C because there's nothing in that cell of C anymore. But if we come in here and we write in, this is the next very long heading, it truncates the first one. As you go across, it's going to keep doing that. So what do you do with that? Well, what if we come in here, we reformat it, give ourselves a little bit more room. So I'm going to select B3 again with our original text in there, and I'm going to drop my cursor in right after the word very. And this is where you use the command Alt-Enter in Windows and it drops the rest of the line down into a new line. As you do that, you'll notice that there's still a space left before the word long. So I normally just delete that so it looks better. So I just delete that space, and then when we click outside the box, we can see what Excel has done with it. And Excel Auto Format is trying to figure this out a little bit now, because now it recognizes we put in a hard enter, a hard new line character into that text. So if we grab the column here, and grab the right side and drag it off to the right here. We can see Excel does understand it, that we did put in a hard new line into this so that it dropped down to a second line. One of the things you can do now is with the column selected, you can come over to the right and double click that. And at this point, Excel understands how wide to make that cell. We just auto formatted the width on that column to fit that cell information. So there's, we'll do it a practical example here. We'll come down to a new sheet. Down at the bottom, I'm selecting sheet two. I'm going to put in there MLB, MLB stats. Hit enter. And then our text is now in the tab down there. The sheet is now known as MLB stats. So we're going to go over to the MLB site in a browser. And uh, we're going to, going to select standings here on October 2nd, 2015. And we're going to grab some data here and just show a little bit more maybe real world what you do to uh, straighten out some of the text here. So in the table, uh, what we do is we're going to take the American League East and I'm going to copy the cells from the table that's here on the site. And you can notice it's live data. It's not an image. Okay, It's not a static image. This is live data that gets updated uh, whenever they decide to update it, however the refresh is on there. So to put it on the clipboard, I use Control-C. We now have it on the clipboard. And alt tab back over to Excel and uh, give myself a little side room over here and a little headroom. Go to C4 perhaps and do a control V, which inserts that information that I just grabbed off the website and drops it in here. And it looks familiar, but it's not formatted the same way. You're going to lose some formatting. But one of the things we notice is, for instance, this cell here, the text in there is truncated. Uh, so we need to do some work on this, and one of the other things that happens is that the W for the win column is not horizontally aligned with the data below it, so it's hard to read. Here's the losses, and here's the data for the losses. First thing we're going to do is just reselect all the data again, and we're going to tell it to center everything. So now that we have things centered, uh, the data that falls underneath the headings works out a little bit better. So I think a little bit more, a little easier to read, but we're still kind of truncated over here. Some of the words are getting tough truncated off. So one of the things we can do is grab the column and double click the right side there and Excel was uh, intelligent enough to know what the limits were for the width on this column and now we can see all the information that's there. Okay, So we've straightened data underneath headings and we've uh, fixed some column widths width so that everything is showing now. And one, one interesting cell right here is this WCGB and we might forget what that means. And that's the wildcard games behind column here at the end of the season as things are coming down to the completion of the 2015 baseball season. And maybe we want to annotate that up here and put in 
wild card games behind as text and just like we did in the first example when we hit enter we, uh, the text now runs over to the other columns and that can get confusing as we go forward if we start dropping in other text as we go along here and also we'd like the word centered on the column that it refers to so we're just going to use our alt enter technique we're going to go into the cell double click to make it into an editing box and I put my cursor after the D of gar card do alt enter to drop the line down and again there was a space left there from our original text that I want to get rid of so I just uh, delete that and that's going to format that cell a little bit better okay so I don't like that extra space in front of it and so uh, what we're going to do click outside the box and uh, we can see what we've ended up with here uh, one of the things we'd like to probably do is center that up again so we centered that up and it makes more sense it's sitting over the column now and then uh, possibly give it a little bit more room that looks fine like that but what if we use the formatting that we added so that it was just two lines like that so when you stretch the right sidebar out and give the column more room with the column selected come back up to the top double click that right boundary mark and it Excel will auto uh, format the column so it fits that text in there one other thing that I would show uh, that's helpful is sometimes when you want to put a note in uh, there may be another way that we can put a note in and uh, I'll put it, show you how to do comment and here's here's a good example here the strk means what's their what's the team's latest streak and so for instance for Toronto uh, they had a, the last uh, they've won their last one game the game before that they lost so they only have a winning streak of one right now same for the Yankees and you can see Baltimore has a win streak of two and so on and so forth but maybe we just want to remind ourselves what that means so we select there's another way of annotating this besides putting text in and that is putting it in comments so we select the cell where we want to put a comment we right click on that and we come down the menu here and click insert comment and it gives us like a little sticky almost and so uh, what we can type in uh, streak is remember this is for the latest win or loss streak for the team. Okay, we just hit enter. We'll actually, click outside the box now, and it leaves a little tiny red arrow up there. Now, if you formatted the cell in red, and let me give you an example of that. Let's put some color into this. So, let's say uh, we're really interested in what the latest streaks are. So when you select the box, you can see the comment pops up. So we move the cursor, the comment's visible there. But what if we want to fill that with red? So we come up here to the bucket uh, where we're going to fill with uh, color, and we're going to come down and select red. One of the side issues of the comment is you lose the visibility of it if your file is in red or your cell is in red here. If your cell is in red, it's just red on red, and you can't tell. However, if we had used a different color like uh, brilliant yellow here again. so if we use brilliant yellow there you'll see that the little red arrow is there all the time you just can't see it when it's red on red so that's a little bit of information about some nice formatting uh, that you can do with this and how you put longer text into these as headings and are able to constrain the width of the column so they don't start becoming so long that uh, your spreadsheet starts falling off the side of your screen when you're working on it and it also makes it very clear when you go to print this or you share this with somebody else they're able to read the headings and make more sense out of them than when they're all jammed and truncated so that's it for now and I'll put out a few more videos here on some very basic Excel hints and hacks here so uh, your spreadsheets come out looking better thank you